ecstatic. Uh, we were, it was an amazing moment. I think my heart was beating a thousand miles per hour. <clears throat> and uh, it was just a beautiful sight to see at when it was <laughs> minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit uh, out here in uh, the state of Maine and the United States. But it was a wonderful moment. Uh, we made history in being the first company to commercially launch a rocket using a bio-derived fuel. And we were thrilled to bring our payloads back very quickly to our commercial customers just less than an hour later on. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. It must be an absolutely wonderful feeling. Everybody's going to be watching you very closely indeed. Uh, so what's the magic formula uh, behind this biofuel? <laughs> A lot of people are guessing, and there's a lot of uh, interesting comments we see on YouTube uh, with, with uh, theories and what it is. It is a secret sauce. It is a secret recipe, but I can say this much. Uh, it can be derived from uh, substances that can be found in farms, not only here in the United States, but across the world. Uh, it's truly a renewable fuel. It has a very low carbon footprint. Uh, it is very close to uh, technically net uh, carbon zero. Uh, and we are proud to be uh, the first demonstration of how responsible fuels, responsible to our planet, can be used for space exploration. OK, so you're keeping your secret sauce under wraps. But uh, what's next then? You've had this first successful launch. Would you ever envisage, for example, briefly, uh, a mission to the moon? Yeah, so the neat thing about our fuel is it, it can be used in a wide variety of temperature conditions. So. We are in a state of Maine where it can be very cold, and we are seeing weather conditions here that have temperatures that are similar to that of Mars uh, during the summer. And uh, in fact, we know that uh, NASA has looked at our particular type of technology uh, to potentially use it to return payloads back from Mars to Earth. So it has a, it has an incredible wide range of use. Uh, we think it could even be used as a sub-launching uh, vehicle uh, within the Artemis project for NASA uh, because the fuel is inherently non-toxic, very safe, and can accompany astronauts as they, as they go to do moon missions. So we think it has a lot of opportunity and uh, really demonstrates a lot of potential.